Do I expect to be the coach next year? I don't have any idea, but either way, I'm going to be okay. And like I said, I've learned to live life on a hot seat here at Purdue. I always do my best, okay? Never, never have any uh, second guess, uh, guessing about uh, my effort and my commitment, okay? I have committed my life uh, to Purdue football for the last four and a half years, and sometimes it wasn't reciprocated, you know, from many others on the outside. But I don't have any second guesses in, in my mind or in my heart about the commitment that I've made to Purdue football, and my loyalty will always be to Purdue football. You make the list up, okay? But I don't have any second, any second guessing about the commitment that I've made. Okay, I've worked 85 to 100 hours a week, 50, hour, 50 weeks a year for the last four and a half years to try to return this program to national prominence. And we are a long ways away in many phases of our program. And what it took was elbow grease and commitment to get us back to where we are right now. We're in postseason play back to back and made improvements in every phase of the program. It's just that plain and simple. You know, I don't like to get into that stuff too much. You know, I'm a player. What I do is play. Um, I know personally I want to be in the position I am without Coach Hope. Uh, I couldn't have came back from my ACL. Uh, he was the first guy that came to me and said, you know, we're still going to give you a chance if you want it. You know, and that's when I came on the media and said I'm going to be back. So uh, if it wasn't for him, I, you know, I, I wouldn't have been playing the rest of the season. And, and he's given me so many opportunities bouncing back. So uh, I think he's a heck of a guy. He's the reason why I came to Purdue. And, uh, you know, we had a rough season that wasn't on him. And, uh, but now we've bounced back. We, we play for him every snap we out there. We go 100% for him. And he never he never once in any of our times, any, any of our meetings, ever talk about his job or anything. He never once said, if we don't win this, I'm going to lose my job. He always keep all that pressure on himself, and he never he never puts it on the team that if if we lose, he's going to lose his job. So he, he takes all this pressure in, and he just let us play 100%. But us as seniors and captains, we take it under, under our belts, too. To, to help him out like he helped us out. The scrum after the game, I don't know where you were in there, but uh, when they lifted him up on the shoulders, what was that like? I was see? actually hugging him right before that, uh, and those uh, Rick Schmidt and those guys came and picked him up. Uh, it's just, you know, uh, again, we all of us respect him, and, you know, whatever, you know, all the critics say and whatever, you know, uh, that's what they say. I mean, everybody has their own opinion, but you know, as far as us, we know what goes on in the room, in the meeting room, and stuff like that. Uh, again, very hats off to that guy. Uh, he's a great coach. He's one of the guys who brought me in here. I got as much respect as someone can have for him. He's a definitely a great coach, and he's like the one of the best coaches I ever had. Do you feel like you guys were playing for him today more so than other weeks? Um, we always play for ourselves first because he tells us not to worry about him. We got to go out there. Our season determines how everybody looks at us. So he really just makes sure we put ourselves first in him.